here, I want to give a quick presentation overview on the uh, webinar here. I'll spend just briefly talking about the background information regarding the moment frame design and some of the significant events. Um, and uh, I won't spend too much time on it and jump in then talking about the special moment frame design, the codes and standards. And then what I've also expanded on uh, in this webinar here is talk a little bit more on the moment frame connection and comparison of some of these pre-qualified connection that's currently in AISC. And then um, we'll look, look at the ordinary moment frame and the requirements in there and the uses of the ordinary moment frame and some of the uh, consideration when especially we're mixing uh, the system between uh, let's say wood frame construction and the ordinary moment frame where we're dealing with different response um, value here for the R value and a um, couple of information regarding uh, deflection and then detailing requirements and uh, including some of these recent anchorage testing that um, we've done that I can share with uh, you folks just so that um, it, it helps to see and visualize some of these uh, testing to understand some of the failure modes here. Uh, a lot of times when we are looking at the design of a member on paper, um, it's a little bit abstract and when we actually get to see something being tested, um, you know, it, it actually makes us better designers as I, in my opinion, um, because we, we are cognizant of some of these um, behaviors that we otherwise wouldn't really uh, have a feel for without these testing and, and visualizing some of these failure modes. And then just a, 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 um, to close up here on some of the, the research and information that you can then uh, look up on your time to get additional information. So as Ali mentioned earlier, um, there is a box on the uh, right hand side for you to type in your uh, question and answer. And so if you do have any questions, uh, please go ahead and type those in. And when we are in the uh, Q&A session here, I'll go ahead and address those. So talking about the um, brief history here of the moment frame, um, you know, in between the 1900 and 1960s, a lot of the steel structures were actually bolted or riveted type construction. And it wasn't until, um, you know, the 70s and until current uh, that the trend of using field welded uh, connection um, have been more prominent now because of the labor savings. Now, some of the uh, significant events influencing the current design uh, information, uh, starting off with um, the 1971 San Fernando earthquake. As you can see in the timeline here, there are other preceding uh, earthquakes uh, that you know shed does shed some light on the performance of these welded steel MoMA frames, but just want to condense this and talk about uh, um, the, the San Fernando and on uh, to the current uh, more recent earthquakes here. And so um, one of the items that were note that was noted in the San Fernando earthquake was that uh, during construction, there were some um, uh, fractures of the weld uh, during construction and you know, at the time, there just wasn't enough information available to understand the implications of some of these weld fractures that they were observing. And so uh, where they did see these um, uh, weld failures or weld, um, uh, I, I suppose, fractures, um, they were then just uh, repaired um, and then uh, continued on with the, uh, the construction here. So the uh, Loma Prieta earthquake um, actually gave us a little bit more information in the sense that there were now more inventory of steel MoMA frame buildings now uh, that have been built since. And that um, uh, Loma Prieta earthquake, however, um, 
the steel moment frame performance was overshadowed by a lot of the observed URM uh, failure and non-ductile concrete uh, poor performance. Um, and so it, even though there were some um, moment frame that they were able to observe, uh, it was you know, overshadowed by, I think, a lot of the uh, other um, failure modes that were observed. 